Today is Friday, June 11th, 2021, with summer right around the corner. Who's to say what summer has in store for us? I'm excited. I'm excited every day. I hope the week treated you well. I hope the weekend has uh, had has its own surprises, brings its own surprises. And you're able to come up on Monday having done something to better yourself, to improve yourself. Man, I'm cool. I'm real cool. I'm cool as a cucumber. I'm fresh like lettuce. I can't be salad. I won't be made salad. I won't be made Caesar. <laughs> no, nah, it just feels good. It really does feel good. I made um I made some points this week. I made some points. I was running point man and um that means that there's expectations on Monday. And that's never a bad thing. Always want to have your right foot forward. So I suppose Logging my points here on Friday may or may not make me as accountable as I would like to be over the weekend. That still requires that I take conscious initiative, that I take affirmative action to be productive, making myself better and improving my work style. Ultimately, don't don't worry about what it is I do. This is just, this podcast is for quote-unquote free time. There is actually no free time. This podcast is also a social project to develop myself as a better speaker, a better public speaker, a better orator. Not that I've... Not that I had problems previously, not that I had issues, not that I was a poor communicator, but being able to express myself uh, in a more open manner, being able to express myself not just in my mind or not just on paper, allows me to know what my words sound like, allows me to be able to play with my pronunciation, my enunciation, my intonation, if you will. And then that way, keep me on my toes, keep me analyzing in real time what my voice feels like around words, around certain words, certain phrases that I might use in discourse with other people, individuals, professionals. So the weekend isn't for fucking being lazy. Yeah, I'll sleep in, but that doesn't mean that my weekend is going to waste away into nothingness. Nah, I killed a whole book this week. No, I started it last week. I started it last week. It's like 10, 10, 12 chapters. It was on re-engineering corporations. A lot of good points. A lot of really good points. I'm not saying I'm the smartest motherfucker. I'm the most ingenious the most nebulous-minded motherfucker, right? But um, a lot of those points I came across on my own in nature, in, you know, in the fucking concrete jungle where I was doing dirt. I came across them naturally. Um, there was like five points, was it five or seven points, and I came across them. I came across at least two of them naturally. And uh, reading them in a book tells me that I was on the right path. Um, tells me that I am on the right path because it's it's empirical. 
It's empirical evidence staring me straight in the face. And um, I now saw, I now have read the error of my past ways. The errors of, the errors of my past decisions. Hold on. The errors of my past, because if I say the errors of my ways, I mean, I'm not who I was in the past. So I must see the errors. I suppose I could stick with the error of my ways. And reading them in that book has allowed me to be able and strategize, to be able and uh, create a different approach in the future and not fuck up the next time, not have it be a deja vu, man, because that would be a hell of a deja vu. It was about, um, well, pretty much how organizational change Corporate change is supposed to come from the top to the bottom. It's It must come from the top to the bottom. And it must be sincere. It can't just be some bullshit little program like, oh, we're going to, we're going to, you know, implement, I don't know, longer hours or higher intensity to increase sales. Like it, it it's not supposed to be a fucking band-aid. Re-engineering corporations is literally deconstructing and re-engineering processes within corporate and uh that's difficult as a corporate cowboy it doesn't sound radical to me but a motherfucker who's at the top maybe from the ceo down to the uh the vice presidents and maybe even a little lower you're gonna get some fucking pushback if 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 it doesn't originate within those ranks. If it hasn't, if it did not already originate from within those ranks, there's going to be some pushback because these motherfuckers are cushy, man. They have cushy positions, cushy jobs. They're making, they're salaried. They're working on, uh, they're, they're working on fixed compensation plans that come with bonuses so long as they main, either maintain a status quo or only make marginal uh, marginal uh, increases in profit. So long as it's a steady incline in profit. They're guaranteed their fucking position. They're guaranteed their fucking bonus. It's a form of stability. It's cancerous. Like government. Folks go into government and then you get... Um, what is it? Then... <laughs> Then you get complaints. Then then you hear the DMV fucking sucks dick. You gotta sit in that bitch for two or three hours while they call out your number. Luckily, with the advent of the internet, you can finally make fucking appointments. And that's... That's only been in the past couple of years... Damn, I'm getting old because it hasn't been in the past couple of years. It's been at least five years. And um, it's been at least five years that you can make appointments. But still, it's it's like it's like having the government run DMV. And these motherfuckers are in cushy ass positions. They're government jobs. They're they have the stability. It's eight to four or or, or eight to five or, or nine to five, whatever the fuck their schedule is. Whether or not they get paid for their lunch or their breaks or you know what have you. In corporate, it's the same fucking thing. They have the stability there. They're just showing up for the check. When you're that high up and you have that authoritative power to just delegate, you ain't working a whole lot. I, I'm betting a dollar. A dollar says that you are likely not working. Hold on. You are more than likely not creating a return on the company's investment for your salary. I don't know why I'm speaking to you. It could be for my salary. I could be, you know, a piece of shit manager who's getting, who's receiving a salary, maybe six digits. And, um, and, and I'm not, I'm over here just with my thumb up my ass, not getting anything else done besides kicking up numbers to my own manager when you're in middle management 
I suppose you can hide behind papers. You can you can paper yourself into a, a little isolated fort and not be fucked with. But um, those people who seek to isolate themselves, I, I mean, to me, they make prime targets. To corporate cowboys, they're like prey. They're like they're literally sitting ducks. They don't want the boat to rock, but they should realize that they're. You know, that the boat they perceived to be on isn't even a fucking boat. They're just floating by themselves in a kiddie pool with sharks. <laughs> <laughs> and the less they move, the tastier they look. Fuck around and find out on some corporate cowboy shit. <laughs> Well, if you haven't done so yet, you can find us on Instagram, Corporate Cowboys. Subscribe to our Patreon, Corporate Cowboys Podcast. If you want to donate, by all means do that. You can find the links. I've said them almost every other episode. We have Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. Keep this operation non-profit. And it will be, so long as I'm kicking. <laughs> And I'm going to uh, seek to establish it somehow. I'm already contemplating the designations, the classifications for it. A 501 something or 503. We'll figure it out. 501c3 or c4. Two. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'd like donations to be tax deductible to the furthest extent in helping out those who help us it's like you're placing your bets and investing your money investing your money in me i'm speaking to you aren't i it's like you're gambling your money oh for sure you are because um, you're placing your bet on whether or not I live long enough to um, legitimize my associates. And I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're, they'll do just fine without me. They just won't be uh, official. They won't be legitimate. They'll just be running the streets. But my goal, my mission in founding a non-profit organization is legitimizing the dirt legitimizing my associates bringing them into the corporate world and making corporate that much more competitive so then it doesn't fucking matter if the ceo doesn't want to re-engineer the corporation from top to bottom we get in at the bottom level, at the lowest level, entry level, which is forever, mind you. It's just that the higher up some motherfuckers move, the more they forget that they are touchable. <laughs> <laughs> that they are still touchable. It's entry level forever. Don't you forget that. So, the more competition we introduce at the ground level... The re-engineering is going to take place from bottom to top if it isn't facilitated otherwise. And I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. I'm, I'm living for this shit. I'm living for this shit. I'll more than likely die for this shit. But that'll be when it's my time. And um, we only have so much control over when our time comes over when our time will be but still it starts taking control of your life taking control of your corner of the world not taking control exerting control asserting yourself in your corner of the world having your worth known having your principles known by making yourself better, you make business better. 
come Monday, right? That's if you don't, that's if you're not interacting with anybody from Friday to Monday. Then you have the weekend to yourself to become better, to make yourself a better professional. Come Monday, business is better. Business becomes better because you've shown up as a better person. And you might not notice it. It's not immediate. It's like going to the gym. I feel like I've used this metaphor before. It's like going to the gym. Where you work out your muscles. You're breaking them down. That's how hypertrophy works. The next day you're sore. You probably couldn't hit the highest... The highest... uh, The highest load set that you did the previous day. And that's fine. But in building that muscle, say you went to gym on a Friday, you wake up sore on a Saturday, you can't hit the same weights that you did on Friday. You're wondering, what the fuck? Does the gym even work? I I wake up sore and I can't lift what I just lifted yesterday. Sunday comes and you're recuperating. Assuming you're not drinking like a fucking fish, ingesting drugs. You could be reading instead. You could be writing something. You could be researching organizational maps and finding who goes where and who does what. I mean, who goes where, like who belongs where inside of an organization, not who goes where. Like you're not actually stalking motherfuckers. You're just, you're just mapping them out. You're just pointing them out. (laughs) and then monday comes around after having recovered saturday and sunday right you were sore as fuck saturday a little less sore on sunday and then monday comes around and uh oh look at this it's fucking arm day again it's fucking leg day again and on monday you're able to hit the gym just as hard as you did Friday if not maybe maybe a quarter of a pound heavier maybe half a pound heavier depending on what increment it is you were pushing yourself at to be better to be stronger to be faster to be more agile to have improved flexibility to have improved mental elasticity creativity because again this isn't just lifting weights to improve to increase your muscle mass it could be reading a book it could be researching it could be writing something come monday you will have something to show for it but it starts now and this doesn't apply to just friday Monday, yeah, you're at work from 8 to 4, 8 to 5, what have you. But when you're off of work, what are you doing? Even when you're, when you're at work. But that's splitting hairs. That's splitting hairs. That's a whole other, other level. I don't want to uh, overwhelm. So, in improving yourself, it takes a conscious effort it takes an affirmative action on our parts to do so it's as simple as putting the phone down face down oh you don't have a screen protector i was gonna fucking denigrate your ass but (laughs) i'm not gonna i feel like being nice so be better you see (laughs) just like that I'm not going to denigrate your ass by calling you a name and saying, get a fucking screen protector or, or just fucking throw your phone. If it doesn't have a screen, no, don't do that either. Spaz out. But bettering yourself, enriching yourself, advancing personally, you do that enough and it'll be noticeable. Like two months of hitting the gym. 
becomes noticeable. You better yourself for two months. Some folks think like, oh, it's so fucking difficult to do a day to day. Nah, man, just treat every day like a mission. Treat every, and then treat every week like a mission. And then treat every month like a mission where you have objectives. And it, it isn't even that serious. This isn't Call of Duty yet. This isn't fucking Battlefield or this isn't um, Grand Theft Auto yet. I think those are the only three I know off the top of my head now. I don't even have consoles. But this isn't that yet. You want to condition yourself to think that it might be life and death. But you ought to be grateful that it's not that yet. You have time. You always have enough time. You have time until you don't. Treat life that way. It's do or die. Do or don't. And it starts on Friday. (laughs) Enjoy your weekend. I'm not saying have fun. I'm saying have fun in a wholesome way. You don't have to black out because then you'll wake up a different kind of sore. (laughs) Having mentally fucked yourself. That's through atrophy, not hypertrophy. Look that up one time. Find out what's really going on. You have all weekend to research it if you want. Read up on it. Write something if you want. If you're on social media, I'm not going to say engage with people, but social media as it stands, a lot of it is uh, superficial, but it has its sharp points. Whether or not you want to come into contact with them so you know how to address them, it's up to you. Just careful. Don't get fucking banned. Don't get fucking uh, zucked or what the what have you. I haven't been on personals for almost a year now. Never been better. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Alex. I'm the social media intern for Corporate Cowboys. Powered by Incorporating Associates. Take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend. See you next time.